Hi there and welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm going to be working in my new home no so DIY junk journal today. It's a bit of a mouthful isn't it? Um, this is coming together rather nicely and I'm actually wondering if it's almost time to do a bit of a flip through what I've done so far as I have actually done quite a lot. I was wondering maybe when it comes to moving in a few weeks if I should then do a flip through so we like have a pre-move and then I'm going to continue there's not actually that much to do I was going to say continue after we've moved um anyway today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different we've been talking about the move progress of the house I want to um journal about my dream kitchen today purely because the kitchen for me has been one of the moving forces behind this move it's the most important room to me I think and it's the room that I'm most excited about. When I think about moving, it's the kitchen I imagine myself in. So um, I used these already. I'll leave a link to the video below. I do this bit as an ad gifted as these were sent to me by Paper Maze. It is the What's Cooking range from Simple Stories. It's very colourful. It's very cute. And it's perfect for this time of year. Um, I've been using it already. Like I said, there is a page um, already. Um, but yeah, this is what's left over. And I thought it would be cute, um, really cute and just perfect for doing a page about my new kitchen before we move in in my journal. This is the next page in my journal. It's a little bit of a flip there that I've already created with a little pocket envelope, vellum pocket that I made. So we're going to be using that as well. I haven't actually got a plan for this page yet. I don't know what I fancy doing. I think I'm just going to have a little um, look and see um, some of these. I might actually, maybe I'm just going to start because I don't actually know what I want to do. Um, I can't find my favourite scissors at the moment. I don't know where they are. Um, I might just cut out some bits and see maybe where that takes me. Let's keep the simple stories. I always think that is such a good little subtitle. Um, so yeah, I think let's start off with cutting out or popping the bits to one side that really calls out to me. Quite like the jar as well. And we will go from there. Do you know, I've just had an idea. I've got the recipe cards. Here, I haven't used these yet. Um, they make a perfect mini book, but you know, I might actually use them for here, for the journaling, a recipe for the perfect kitchen. That would be fun. Which one should I use? I like, oh, that one because I love my KitchenAid mixer. That one maybe. Um, that one's nice. And I like that one as well. I like this one actually with the ingredients prep time how long it's taken us to move Cook, um, I quite like that one will it fit in here not quite hmm I'm gonna use both of these I've decided um, they are super cute it's quite nice thinking outside the box sometimes oh you can see them on the back there as well um, so you don't necessarily use something for what its actual purpose was obviously this was meant to have a recipe in I will use some of these for my recipe journal but today they are perfect for this page and I'm also excited to be using some of these stickers as well I've been having an idea I've cut out quite a few bits and pieces right I love this it's so cute let's make a mosaic page I haven't done one of those for a while and we're not using photos today either you don't always have to use photos um doesn't matter what kind of journaling you're doing um, whether you're doing weekly journaling or whether you're doing trip journaling um, there are other ways to um, journal so we're using papers today instead right I'm going to use the ones that matter to me cupcake liners flower bag do you know I keep thinking about these um, canisters in Disney they are so cute 
they're clear and they've got the cutest design on them let's pop these to one side I first saw them January 2019 and I have been thinking about them ever since and they you can get flour you can get sugar um this time when i want there is tea and coffee they are so cute but you know when you think i don't need them and i say that to myself a lot and this time when we went money was much tighter this time because we knew we had a moving date coming up when we went on our trip um but like thinking about this now they would look so cute in the new house but i don't need them they're a luxury i have got and to be honest when i i love that one when i look in my larder uh, my pantry i do like having all the matching mason jars i think they look really nice so i i do like them but um yeah these are just so sweet look at the house i'm actually inspired i'm going to be using this one on another page at the front of my book. I'm going to pop that one to one side. Um, cutting boards. We want to decorate the backs of the work surfaces with cutting boards. So that one can go on. Let's have a cookbook. I'm just so, so excited about this kitchen. It's. I'm just hoping that when I'm in there, it just feels like my dream kitchen. I'm just so, so excited. Um, right, let's see how I go there because the other thing I wanted to do, where's the green one? I'm going to cut some green out, but to the same um, size. So, what am I doing here? That one like that. And that one like that, that works, doesn't it? And what other colour shall we have? Yellow or pink? Um, let's go with some yellow because I used um, the, what do you call it? The um, pink last time when I created with this. Right, let's do it this way and mark off so i want to hear from you tell me about your kitchen your dream kitchen do you have your dream kitchen is your kitchen important to you i always used to think that um my studio was my favorite room in the house but and it still is don't get me wrong i love my creative space and i would never want to be without a creative space now it's it's probably kept me sane over all these years. Um, but my kitchen is very, very important to me as well. And I've always wanted that kind of kitchen where, um, what am I doing? I'm just, my head is all over the place at the moment. I can't seem to think straight. Let's do it this way. I've always wanted a kitchen where, um, I can be making dinner and I've got the family in with me. And although we have a couple of chairs in the kitchen, it's not that kind of kitchen where, for example, when we have like friends or family over, if everyone's in the kitchen when I'm cooking, it feels chock-a-block. It's an L shape, so it's not like overly user friendly. So I'm really looking forward to being able to have a kitchen with a sofa in. That's what I am so, so, so for sofa excited about. <laughs> right. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is rustle up these corners, these sides. Whoops, let's not throw that in on the floor. Yeah, so what's important to you when it comes to the kitchen? I am seriously going to miss my range cooker. Um, so when we first moved into the house, um, 20, nearly, well, 25 and a half years ago, um, the kitchen was a tiny galley kitchen. It was really, really bad. And then we couldn't afford to replace it straight away. And there were other more important things. We couldn't even live downstairs in the house for the first year. It was that bad. So we were doing things like replacing all the flooring and having we had to get everywhere replastered. So then fast forward a few years later maybe even five years later, if not, maybe more. Um, yeah, maybe, I can't remember. Um, 
we had the kitchen done but we had like the door what the door wall knocked through so it became the l shape we had a door blocked in we had the boiler removed and that's when we had my new kitchen and the range cooker um and just having that range cooker just gave me what i thought at the time was my dream kitchen i was just so so happy with it i loved it and i still do and i am so so sad to be leaving it behind i love it um, the new kitchen is a gas top um i'm going from seven rings to five but that is 90 percent of the time just the two of us in the house but i like having that top so when i'm cooking you know when you can take your big trays out the oven i cook from scratch daily so it is something that gets used well and i do use everything oh, i don't use my second oven and the new house does have two ovens so i'm happy about that um but yeah it's it's gonna be a big change but a positive one but i'm just looking forward to that space we also have got an integrated fridge freezer so we're going to a smaller fridge freezer but we're taking our american fridge freezer with us because we would eventually like to change it um and it is new our fridge freezer because it broke last summer let's get some pva on this so we didn't want to leave that behind understandably because it cost us a lot of money but yeah the plan is we're going to stick it in the garage for the time being use it as a second fridge freezer which will be so nice i'm looking forward to that extra space being able to batch cook and things like that um but then the plan is then whenever we're ready we will be able to move that into the house Obviously, we'll have to do some knocking about a bit. Right, I'm going to be able to fit two of these in. I'm just wondering if I go glue stick or PVA. What do you think? Which will be the best? I might try both, actually. Let's do that. Let's see which one works the best. Yeah, this is cute, isn't it? And then we go yellow. Oh, that one's a little bit on the bigger side. Let's trim that down a little bit. Papers are really pretty, aren't they? I haven't decided where I'm doing my journaling yet. I might actually, if I really like this, I like the idea of adding some journaling in these boxes. I think that would be, yeah, I might actually do that. I think that will work out really cute. I like that. I'm wondering that's cute i like that i want to make sure as well that i've got space for these i might even trim this down or mm, i might add that there i think i might do that um i want to make sure i've got room for my storytelling do I go that one? That one's a little bit bolder than I wanted. I think I'm going to stick with the green. This is going to work out so cute. I do love a good old mosaic. I think this is going to work out really, really well. Now, I could, if I wanted to mute it, I could go over with some gesso. However, I'm not going to. I am going to keep it like this. I like the colours on this page and my squares aren't perfect and that's absolutely fine it's a very rustic page i think i'm going to stick with the glue gun uh, the glue stick actually let's put the pva away i like this so much so let's make sure what would be the best way the green no actually let's have the yellow at the top or do we go no, i think it needs to stand out a little let's flip that over um yeah i encourage you to use some papers and actually let's tidy that one up a little bit because these yellow ones are a little bit on the large side and um do some mosaicing it's a really good way especially if you've got loads of scraps it's such a good way to use them up should we have cupcake liners up that one 
The back's really pretty as well. I love the polka dots. This is one of those papers. I did use some of the polka dots on my other page. It's one of those papers that you kind of feel like you need two. I love using the clips on my pages as well. They're so handy. Let's make sure that sticks in. I still miss my big ATG gun. I miss it so much. Um, it's just so pricey, the tape. If anyone has ever found anywhere cheaper to buy the refills, please let me know. I know I've had links before but from people, but they were in the States and I didn't even worry about having it shipped to me when I was in the States to bring home. It's um, Maybe I should have thought about that, actually. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's a pain. Everything's become so expensive lately, isn't it? Um, we're in the midst of, like having to sort home insurance and things like that with the move and nothing is easy we just thought we'd be able to just transfer everything over but no it's it's just been trying to sort the home insurance out today and it looks like we've got to cancel everything and start again um moving is very expensive <laughs> we've done it to save ourselves money and i think it will in the long run but at the moment it feels quite scary actually the amount of money but like i said we're just sort of thinking of the bigger picture at the moment mixer i love that mixer i'm definitely not going to be journaling over the mixer because that one is my favorite one this is so cute i love that and then i really wanted to do the recipe on here so this one i'm going to add with some tape or do I do it? Actually, this would be quite well, quite nice. And then I've got the recipe on there. Yeah, I think so. Just thinking about when I open it, that looks better. What about this? What can I do with this one? I have got, um, got some pretty papers. I might actually do that and stick that on there let's do that i think that will look quite nice i've done that i'm actually thinking i might even decorate the card no actually i'm going to keep that for the other thing i had in mind right let's add a little bit of tape here just to hold this in place so i can see how this is going i like the idea of something oh let's pop this on here. I love adding the simple stories. Do we add that there? No, let's pop that at the top for simple stories. This is going to be so cute. Um, I really wanted to use this, but I don't actually know if this is the right page for this. I don't think so. I think I might leave that. Sometimes you can get carried away and just want to use everything. I want to be quite um, aware of what I'm using. I don't want to use things for the sake of using them. Love these little tickets. These are really cute. Let's cut these off. We're actually going to Ikea tonight. I'm thinking I might these on here um where's my staple I'm going to ikea tonight to meet my sister um so i'm looking forward to some fun home inspiration that would be nice uh i'm going to keep that for my idea let's use these these will be fun so yeah we don't i want to buy a duvet set i saw a duvet set the last time which i loved and I thought, no, don't want to spend £45 on a new duvet set. And also, it was supposed to be white. We've got, we're going to have white walls in the house, which we're going to keep for some time. Um, just wondering where to put these. I'm going to pop that one there. Um, because apparently you have to leave the walls for a few months. So we're going to keep the white, which, and we like the white. But um, the duvet set, although it says white on the Ikea, it is actually off-white. It's more of a cream. Um, and I thought, no, that's not going to go. But actually, I'm thinking with the cream carpets and 
we're going with a very kind of like neutral, um, warm kind of theming throughout. Um, I think actually the white walls and the cream duvet will look really nice. So I'm excited about that now. I think it will work well. I might actually leave it with just that one on that one. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to take some rough paper and cut it to size. And this is where I'm going to put my journaling. So let me know if you quite often journal without photos. I think if you've come from scrapbooking, generally you definitely lean towards the photos, don't you? I think because I'm, I'm from scrapbooking and so it's always been about the photos. So I have done scrapbooking pages before without photos, but it does feel a little odd. Um, and I think it takes some getting used to as well, but I see so many amazing journal pages where people don't include photos and like it might be that they talk about something. So maybe they've been on a bike ride, for example, and rather than including a photo with the bike ride could be that you include a sticker or a die cut a piece of ephemera about the ride instead. So there are always ways to go around it. The other thing is as well, it could be instead of having a photo because we don't always have a photo, um, could be you include a receipt or something else from your trip. If you've got a menu um, or like um, a leaflet from your trip instead, you could include some kind of like memorabilia instead. Or it could be that you've taken photos, but um, they're out of focus or for whatever reason you can't use them. That's so disappointing when that happens, isn't it? I hate it when that happens. Um, Aid always takes ages to take photos and I moan at him, um, but he takes loads and Whereas I'm quite a quick person. I used to focus a lot more. Whereas these days I don't. I just want to be done and dusted. Um, but then sometimes my photos aren't always in focus. And I've only taken the one. So it pays off sometimes to be a bit more patient. I'm liking these. I think these are going to be so cute. This is going to be a cute little page. I was thinking about typing out my journaling. But I'm not. I'm going to handwrite it instead. Might do some little dots around the edge, make it look super cute. Um, I think this will be fun to look back on when we do have the kitchen set up as we want it. Um, I'm just so looking forward to having this little storybook dedicated to our new kitchen. I think this is going to look so nice or be really nice to have. Right, let's go and do some journaling. So journaling has all, be done, all been done. I am loving those little mosaic squares. They are super cute. I'm pleased about those. I would like to add the word kitchen along the bottom. I have got these doodle bug stickers. I'll link up everything that I'm using below. Let's see if I have got um, all the right letters I think I am good to go um, it's been really nice doing this journaling actually it's been quite a nice way to kind of like think about the kitchen I'm gonna do this back to front so it all fits down here um, yeah it's made me feel really excited um, the other negative about the kitchen I realized when I was journaling is that we don't have a utility area in this kitchen um, I will miss my my utility area um, it's still in the kitchen at the moment but it's obviously to one side if you've seen my vlogs um, I do have a um, home channel as well um, and I've been documenting I'm just spelling the word kitchen on here. Um, so if you haven't seen my other channel, I'll leave a link to it down below for you. Um, yeah, so I will miss that. Um, we've got to buy an integrated um, washing machine as soon as we arrive. Sorry, I'm just heating up Aid some last night's leftover curry. Um, so we're going to go to Ikea soon. 
Um, and the washing, the tumble dryer, I think we're going to stick with the one that we've got and it's going to go in the garage for the time being. We haven't decided exactly what we're doing at the moment. Um, could put it in the kitchen, but do we want the extra cupboard space? There's generally um, just the two of us. So I don't know. What's your thoughts? Um, loads of people have the tumble dryer in the... Um, I'm wondering what to do. I quite fancy having something over there in the kitchen, don't they? Um, in the garage. And they work. They manage perfectly fine. So, yeah, what's your thoughts on that? Now... I'm just wondering, I quite like the, the idea of having that there. I might actually do something, have something above there. That would be quite cute. I feel like, you know what I'm like, I don't like to have bits showing and I wish I, oh, i tell you what I did have here. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place. I wanted this sticker on here, family home kitchen food. I have loved that all along. Hmm, I'm going to pop that on there, I think. I really like that. What else? Let's have a look at these stickers. These are super, super cute. Um, oh, I might actually let's put the oven down here. So this is the back of my journal card. I like that. These are so sweet. Oh, and we've got more stickers here in the kitchen perfect and then I can add a few little let's remove my hair off it uh, I'm still on there my hair just gets everywhere that is well and truly stuck on there I'm just expect, expecting somebody to knock and collect the Playmobil box I took loads out the loft the other day um, what else have we got here um, dinner is ready that would be a cute one um, so yeah I've got somebody collecting the Playmobil in a bit um, I'm kind of thinking oh, yeah now I'm going to do that one that one is fine and do I need like a little heart or something I think I may have used up oh no I've got one heart left that was handy I went a bit crazy with the hearts the other day Right, that's that. Wanted something. Oh, I've got an apron. I do love an apron. Shall I pop that on there? Is that going to be a little bit on the large side? Excuse my... Um, what do you call it? Um, my mind's just gone blank. Microwave. That's what it's called. Um... I just feel like I want to cover that bit up and I'm thinking I want to cover it up with this right let's be brutal is this gonna work that could look cute I don't know do I even need to do that? Probably not. But I'm going to. Right, let's just do it. I stick that bit there. So that. Ah! Right, let's stick this in. Is this going to be one of those ideas that um, doesn't really work out? Right, let's pop the clear tape there on both sides. like that let's put that up like that I don't really need this on here do I am I just being a bit silly yeah I am I'm not going to actually add that do you know what I am going to do though right this is actually going to work perfect I've got a glassine bag and I completely forgot I printed off this photo Right, it hasn't printed off great. My colours are being a bit weird on my printer at the moment. I think maybe one of my inks is low. This is the kit, the photo that's been on my mood board since about 2018 of my dream kitchen. And our kitchen 
is more or less going to be like this. I'm so excited. So I tell you what, let's actually, let's make this cute. Let's stick this photo onto this. This is going to work out really well. So I want to be able to place this inside the glassine bag. Um, I should have checked the sizing first. I should have done that. Right, I want the yellow on the back. What do I want? Yeah, I think I do. Like that. Let's cut this down. And just make sure that it fits into the glassine bag. I've got to be, it's going to be a little bit too big. Oh, typical. Right, let's just trim that slightly. This, we're going to make this work. Is that going to fit? Yes, it's perfect now. Cool, sorry, I put the microwave on again. Um, and then I don't want that colour because that doesn't go with my spread but the green does so we are then going to stick this onto the green and then I'm going to create a little tab as well and then I am going to journal about this being my dream kitchen I feel like this has a place in my journal it's just really weird because I want to talk more about it when we've moved, about manifesting and journaling, um, manifesting your sort of like thoughts and your dreams, because twice now I've done this really, really big dreams. And several years later, they've come true. This hasn't come true yet, so. But this basically is more or less, I think, what my kitchen's going to look like. Isn't that weird? And I didn't even plan it like having the little islandy bit um yeah so we're and we're both just so excited about this um i tell you what i'm gonna do i want that i'm just coming sort your dinner oh thank you um and i'm gonna stick this on the top like that because i want this to be on the top like that I think I probably need double-sided tape actually that would probably work better all right let's use this old tape and then the idea is this has got a little tab top then above I've made this a little bit on the large side actually we can always try and remove some of it. Right, let's pop this up here. Is that straight? Oh, that'll do. And let's remove the excess so it doesn't make it really sticky. And then this bit then, so I've like reversed the card. So I could have both sides that I wanted on there and then I've got space for the journaling as well. I've still got a little bit of excess tape there. There. And I'm going to pop that on there. Oh, my um, no, I know I like that side as well, but there. I think that looks cute. And then we're going to pop this on here. What I'm going to do, because I've got a little bit of the excess tape there, that will work really, really well. Cute. Perfect for journaling. And then what we're going to do, I've made quite a mess on my desk today. It's quite unlike me. I'm going to pop this in here. This can then go here. Um, I'm going to use the home sticker in the bottom there have snuggle up 
there and then I'm going to use tape again on here because I want to make sure that covers up nicely and this has worked out absolutely perfectly and by the way that photo came from Pinterest that's all that was years and years ago yeah I'm really happy with that so that is my page let's do a final flip through I'm really pleased with this so we've got my mosaic page there and then I journaled on that little bit there about my visions of the kitchen what I'm looking forward to and then on this side we've got my dream kitchen which I will journal about on the back that's worked out so well because that's kind of like muted the bit behind and then we've got my journaling about the kitchen there and on the reverse as well and then we've got that page there I am so pleased with this it's such a cute page the, everything is just so pretty I'm really really pleased it's just so perfect for my kitchen page really hope you've enjoyed this thank you for watching I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye